What's going on, guys? This is Random Reviews, and today we're going to do Season 3, Episode 269. Today we're going to do the new Disney Plus original movie, Sneak of Elm, which I just finished watching not even a couple of minutes ago. I'm just going to get some water here real quick. So yeah, today we're going to do Sneak of Elm, which is basically just a loose, adapt well, I don't, mm, I don't say like Cinderella type story, you know, I'll just say that. There's plenty of those. I was tempting to do all the six, I believe. I think it's either six or seven Cinderella story movies. <laughs> yeah, I was tempting to do all those, but I'm like, people are going to get sick of it. So yeah, today I'm just going to do this one. I'll do those in the future, eventually, if they ever make another one of those. <laughs> you never know. But anyway, yeah, Sneak of Elle just came out today on Disney+, Plus, or technically last night, but yeah. Sneak of Elle, which stars, of course, Lexi Underwood and Chosen Jacobs. <laughs> That's a cool name, Josen. I love it. That's a cool name. I love it. I hope this kid does something good. I guess he was pretty good in this movie. Yeah, I think he, I hope he does something else. Yeah, of course, Disney Channel. But of course, it was on Disney Plus. Whatever. But anyway, Sneak of Valor was all right. I mean, basically, Cinderella, but except with the shoe instead of just like a glass slipper, a song, or anything like that. It's like, yeah, it's like, okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, I do like some of the... I like the original 1950s Disney one. That one's pretty good. The sequels are actually pretty good. Let me know if you want me to do those, too. Maybe I should do a Disney movie marathon after after the Marvel. So, yeah. um, There's not much to say about it. I would give this... 100%. No way, Jose. I would give this... I would give it a 5 out of 10. No. I'll give it a 4. Yeah. Because it's just... It's a little too long, and it needs to be on almost two hours, and it's like, eh, it was alright. The musical numbers, I mean, I don't usually like musical numbers that much. But this was alright. And if you can hear in the background, I'm watching the Disney Plus original show, The Quest. That's probably going to be a review, probably not sometime next week. In between my Marvel videos, probably. Probably not. Okay, so yeah. And as you can hear, the train just passed by, and my ear purifier, yes. And yeah, so see you guys next time for when we do... Pinocchio, a true story. Oh boy, I have a lot to talk about that. And then after that, uh, next week on Friday, next week on Friday, I'm going to do, of course, what is it again? Oh yeah, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Never seen the show, so I'm going in and completing, well, from all the advertisements I've seen for the movie, but yeah. And then after that, is going to be Proud Family, the new one, and of course, the Proud Family movie. Yes. Because I wish finished watching all those shows. Yeah, and then, of course, I guess sometime after that, I guess I could start in my Marvel binge. Or maybe I'll do Nicolas Cage, yeah. So, you since you guys reached a like goal of two likes on the video of my massive talent review, I'm going to do a Nicolas Cage movie marathon where I'm going to do a whole week's worth of videos of Nicolas Cage. Maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll just do Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of Nicolas Cage movies. Since I've seen most of his movies, I'll just do, I'll just do Monday through Friday. How about that? That sounds good. I said a week, but I'm like, yeah, sure, I guess I could do a week, of course, worth of videos. Why not? I mean, there's plenty of movies. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna have to exclude the Ghost Rider movies that he did, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, see you guys next time for Pinocchio True Story. See you guys later.